Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, we're here at the my video manager page. I was getting ready to do a video for you, and, and now I'm just pissed off. I'm going to give you the information, but hold on a minute. This video right here, martial law via the FDA and Google. I uploaded last night when I went to bed. Uh, 10.42 p.m. You can see, because right here, what I do is upload the raw file and then mix the intro and the outro in the editor so the, the first upload is made private the second upload is made public and then I go ahead and delete the uh, martial law video now the last time this happened you can look back it was two videos that did this they didn't fully process I can view the video here you can't zero views it doesn't even show that I was there once already. But you can see the video is actually processed because you see my intro right now. You won't get there. I'm not going to delete it yet. Shit. Um, I don't care. I don't need to be there anyway. Because last time I deleted it, it stripped it off my computer as well. Both the FBR raw file and the WMV converted file. Not doing that again. I'm going to create another page on the website um, martial law and I was going to do that anyway because headlines like this keep coming out uh, if you talked about martial law a year ago you were really pushing it and you were opening yourself up for attack now it's the mainstream now it's the norm and even here in Kentucky we've seen just an uptick in movement of military vehicles. I'm not going to say I've seen anything massive here, but uh, the highways have more military moving around in our area, uh, Louisville and West, more than they did a couple months ago. So there's an uptick, is all I'm saying. But I keep seeing it across the country. Um, and again, the mainstream is talking about martial law on or around election. Uh, I've heard it. This, DHS and U.S. military make final preparations before announcing martial law. This is in PAC Alert Press. I will link you to it. Um, informants and military personnel are coming forth anonymously to confirm that martial law is right around the corner. However, right, right now we are under a silent martial law and citizens are reporting strange and unexplainable activity from the U.S. Armed Forces and multiple federal agencies that point to a covert preparatory operation completely lock down America in the very near future. Now, I want to back up a minute. There's a video that I put out eight months ago, martial law by the end of the coming summer, and I've got a bunch of schmucks that keep going on there and say it's the end of summer. First of all, summer isn't over yet. Second of all, it um, doesn't really matter if I'm off 30 or 60 days. You're still fucked. We're all still fucked, okay? and you just read it under silent martial law between the Patriot Act, NDAA, all the executive orders, the the natural uh, resource preparedness act bullshit Obama sticky notes for whatever law you want you're under martial law you're just not told what time you have to go to bed yet and you're not told yet that you can't travel on certain highways but it's not far it's not far anyway I'm starting to get pissed off Sources from multiple locations across the nation have independently confirmed that the U.S. military are repositioning soldiers in conjunction with allied foreign troops in the initial stages of martial law. In conjunction with allied foreign troops. All those U.N. troops that have been training here for the last few years. Maybe some troops from who knows where. All over. What else do we have? U.S. military are secretly moving massive amounts of equipment across the country consistently for more than a year. In Phoenix, Arizona, tractor trailers transporting tanks on public highways have been spotted. One witness stated that he saw these flatbeds multiple times in the month of June. Eyewitnesses' reports are coming primarily from the northern and southern border states. Peter Santilli, an ex-Marine informant who was a specialist in aviation deployed weapons, explains that a refrigerated truck allocated by the administration uh, on the department base was directed to the commissary where an unsuspecting driver believed that he was transporting food. 
The weapon was placed at the head of the trailer and covered with either food stores like cans of soup or body bags in the event that the truck was stopped en route. The weapon would be well hidden and go undetected by inspectors on the public highways. Santilli, who was assigned to ride in the cab of the truck with the driver, says that his orders were to make sure the truck arrived at its destination. If there were problems concerning potential civil unrest, he was to radio into his superiors for aid by either air or ground support. Should the situation warrant serious attention, crowd control methods would be implemented. One possible scenario was the use of cluster bomb units that will emit upon detonation a sleep and kill chemical weapon that will not disturb infrastructure but is lethal to all living things within the affected zone. Santilli describes these particular three unit CBUs as shaped like water heaters with a cone top and plunger like device. Once deployed in the air a parachute assists these CBUs to the targeted area then when detonated a deadly chemical gas will kill every human and animal in the specified cordoned area. The acquisition of uh, armory by the Department of Homeland Security and contracts for bulletproof glass for checkpoint booths to be positioned strategically throughout the nation on public highways have heightened awareness that the U.S. government is preparing for well-planned domestic military action. DHS armored vehicles have been sighted on highways in Kentucky. Yes, yeah, see, I told you. Now, I'm just going to pause here for a minute. Anyone that's traveling and sees this type of work going on at the toll booth should, should document it. I will, after this video is up, I will stay up late tonight. I will be putting a page on the website which I will not be able to link in this video. I can come back after it's up possibly and put the link in there. But just go to masterofmanythings.com and you will see a page, a link at the top with all the other links. Martial Law will be the uh, bleh, page name. Go there. Um, I want to start documenting this. We need to. And uh, if you have your camera ready and you see military movement, document it. Email it to me immediately, Kevin at masterofmanythings.com. I will put your video, your email notes, whatever you can send us. Um, if you can't, you know, if you can get a photo, if you can get a, uh, your iPhone camcorder, whatever, send it to me immediately. And please, don't try to send shit that is from last year or the year before. Um, because I would hate to think the number of people you're going to piss off if you try to scam them via me in my hurriedness to keep you all awake. So let that be a warning. Um, I have friends in low places, you might say. So keep it clean, keep it relevant, keep it up to date. We want to know what's going on and we don't want any bullshit. Okay. Um, so we got to document this. You're passing by the toll booths and you see construction work going on on glass we need to document what highways are going to be shut down, where we're going to have military interaction if we travel that way. We need to document this. It's going to be imperative that we know. I'm going to read on because there's a lot of information in here. The acquisition of armory by the Department of Homeland... Oh, no, excuse me, one paragraph down. When citizens attempt to capture the activity on film, some have had their cameras confiscated, sometimes after a physical altercation. On Google Maps, where known military bases were once visible, some str strategic areas are now blurred out. John, a pseudonym, was contacted by DHS to fill in caves, mines, and block trails. Now these measures are being stepped up as independent contractors are being brought to mountainous regions and told to block all entrances into the mountain by way of caves and other areas where people could possibly hide out in the hills during a riot situation under the declaration of martial law. Pause for a minute. Terrell, if you're in the Ozarks, they're coming for you already. Back to the post. If you don't know who Terrell 03 is, a year ago he was trying to sell you caves in the Ozarks. Look him up. Uh, okay, here we are. Forested areas in the states like Montana, Missouri, and Arkansas are being closed to the public while military activity is being witnessed by locals. These commercially contracted civilians working in these areas are allocated parallel shifts and com compartmentalized projects to provide for intelligence controlled operation. One informant relayed an incident where he was detained in a forest road by unidentified paramilitary officials that seized his rifle from the rack of the back of his vehicle. Another source said that while traveling in a national forest park, he and his party were met by what appeared to be 
a military police officer who demanded that they turn back. Residents in Pine Mountain, Georgia and Spruce Mountain, Nevada have had confrontations with U.S. Armed Forces. When traveling in a public national forested area, military police with automatic weapons say that locals cannot gather wood in surrounding forested spaces as they have traditionally done for decades. One man in particular and his rifle forcibly confiscated by unidentified armed men. On dirt roads leading to the Lazen National Forest Reserve, paving is being laid over the gravel roads. The local knows that secret underground drilling or tunneling is being conducted. Whenever they enter the park, they are quickly escorted out by heavily armed and quite menacing persons. Even once abandoned logging roads are beginning to see activity again. Information coming out of the reserve units in Arizona is that they are being put on official alert. Military personnel are being told by superiors not to schedule vacations and to prepare to be on call and on duty indefinitely. According to one informant, these new assignments are not providing uh, for deployment overseas, but rather for domestic service with the intimate uh, intimation that these deployments may have relation to civil unrest expectations. In Lake Havasu, Arizona and Colorado Springs as well as Fort Collins, Colorado, locals are coming forth to report that local fires may have been lit by foreign troops, specifically Russian forces that have been spotted in the area. These Russian troops are believed to be stationed at Fort Carson, Colorado. Military drills, aka urban warfare, have been played out in many states by the Pentagon and other branches of the U.S. Armed Forces. In Plainville and Worcester, Massachusetts, shout out East Coast, Surprise citizens witnessed last Wednesday evening military helicopters descended on the vacant wood school in the late hours of the night in a scene that might have appeared to stimulate the United States Special Forces attack on Osama bin Laden's compound last year. Many locals in their homes swooped down upon by black helicopters in an obvious display of military dominance over the general public. Residents saw helicopters landing near Worcester Memorial Auditorium in Lincoln Square Local newspapers were flooded with telephone calls and emails, curious about what was happening. Local police claimed they were unaware of the drills. A U.S. Army spokeswoman made a half-hearted apology for any inconvenience or unforeseen disturbance. In Hollywood, Florida, DHS and Hollywood Police Department have taken part in master grappling training exercises with Black Hawk helicopters scheduled over various government-owned buildings. Details concerning the drills are being kept from the public for security reasons. MPTE are special operations to teach law enforcement and military techniques and tactical rope and repelling skills that can be used in helicopter deployment and advanced tactical training. This, just this month, foreign troops were caught at a Walmart. They were traveling in what were described as large government vans. Law enforcement battalions have been created out of Camp Pendleton, California, consisting of specialized military police that would be deployed to assist in any event of civil disturbance, handling of detainees, use biometrics to identify suspects and conduct forensic work. Their assistance is not limited to conducting DUIs and writing speeding tickets in an effort to rebrand the Marine Corps as being more involved with average work now allocated to the local law enforcement. Moving around in white, unmarked vans, strange troops have been seen purchasing food and water at another Walmart in Franklin, Indiana, parading in a military personal fatigues where drone activity has been reported in Oklahoma City and black helicopters were spotted hovering over a construction site. According to documents from the Iran Corporation, a planned event concerning a police stabilization force within the United States will be a mix of military and police forces to deal with a range of threats, the study explains. What the response should be, the creation of a high-end police force, cost for the military police collaborative force. Estimates uh, are $637.3 million annually, including many federal agencies, including the U.S. Marshal Service, U.S. Secret Service, Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs, in the Department of State, the United States Army's military police. There is a media blackout concerning the state of emergency code for martial law that Anaheim, California residents have been under since murder of a man by local police. While protests have been conducted, residents say that the outsiders are infiltrating peaceful demonstrations to stir up violence and ensure local and military police action against them. 
While city officials are gearing up for another large incident and another riot, protesters are coming forth to voice their disdain at the infiltrators that attend a protest that ended with a fatal shooting of two Latino men. During the protest marches in Anaheim, the white unmarked vans have resurfaced. This time, ident unidentified police detained protesters and placed them in these new vans. There is a link from Disclosed TV on the um, the site, the Pack Alert Press site, so I will link you to that if you want to check out the Anaheim video. This increased activity across the nation in conjunction with the mounting citizens report of seeing military on their streets conducting urban warfare drills and spotting foreign troops have prompted public interest in the U.S. government's plan to enact a full-scale martial law in America expected by the end of this year. The more attention that is brought to these sightings and the more people come forward with the information, the safer the American public will be. The U.S. military have orders to shoot and kill all dissenters. They are being trained to confiscate guns and detain people in internment or FEMA camps. For the sake of continuity of government, they are being told to turn their, on their own fellow Americans. This is a call out as well to anybody that has family in the military or if you are military. Um, you cannot obey orders that tell you to turn your weapons or even your hands or feet on American citizens. You took an oath. The current administration is fraudulent and illegal and you have no reason to obey any order given by it, especially one that tells you to detain or harm an American citizen. We need the military on our side. The American people have always loved their military men and supported them too much sometimes to make it okay for them to go and sacrifice themselves in wars we shouldn't be in. But this is different. This is a war on the homeland. Don't raise your guns at me because then I have to defend myself. And I will. And so will many other Americans. Keep your guns and join us and take back this country. When martial law is announced, the people must rise up. We will not be herded into cages. We will not have our goods taken, our stores raided. No. No. It's the end of the line. Anyway, also while I'm on here, I wanted to do a quick product review for everybody. The nice V for Vendetta mask came in today. You can get these on the website through Amazon. And it's not cheesy. Uh, it's not cheesy at all. It'll last you a while. And the back, made with Velcro, so if somebody, some wise ass wants to snap you in the back of the head, it's probably going to come undone rather than hurt your skull. Um, so that's the deal. Five bucks. Can't beat it. Amazon. Check it out. So anyway, if you are on the website seeing this video for the first time, thank you for visiting the website. Um, this same file will be on YouTube and the website. For all my YouTubers, much love. And please, anybody that sends me videos, be aware. They will be exclusive to the website. They will not be posted to YouTube. But every time new information is added in relation to martial law, troop movement, etc., an alert will be put onto YouTube letting people that uh, know that the website has been updated. Please, we need to document military movement, any military personnel, people with family in the military, please share this video, uh, this information, okay? And if you're a military person, I know you've got a hard choice to make. Uh, make the right choice, okay? Secrecy to the American people is a violation of everything we stand for. If you have information that the American people can use to keep themselves safe, you must relay that information. Lies are not acceptable for any reason. Do not believe the hype and the propaganda and the bullshit that the government feeds you telling you that the people can't handle the truth that we must lie to them. A lie is never accept acceptable, not ever, and it will never succeed in the long term. Period. If you're a member of the U.S. military, you must give any pertinent information you have to your family members. You must find a way to get that information out publicly. 
and still keep yourself anonymous. Anyway, much love, many thanks, and keep in mind, anybody that gives me information, if you tell me I want to remain anonymous, nobody will get your information. Your email will be deleted instantly. No reference to you at all will be put on the site, but keep in mind also that I will research information that you give me. And if I find out that you're trying to pass off bad information via me, then I'll relay that information as well. Much love, many thanks. Open your eyes, folks, and get ready, because we're in for, well, we're in for a change, we might say.